Kentucky and federally observed National Day for Romance, pass it on. And this year I'm celebrating in a way traditional manner because I have a most tasty boyfriend. I got you a little pre-Valentine's Day gift. Oh. Oh, tube socks. How did you know? <laughs> well, little white lies go with little white socks. Memo. Conduct stealth seminar for Noah on sensible gift selection. Bronson Alcott, Supremo couple Dean Murray will be sharing their very first Valentine's together. You didn't compliment me on my outfit today. That is, if they can get through the next 72 hours. Was about to. But so stunned by your beauty, I couldn't speak. That's quite a load, but excellent attitude. The stars couldn't be more aligned. Dee and I both finally had boyfriends on Val Day. But never let it be said, we would forget the romanceless among us. Surprise your secret Valentine and support your local poodle. Dee and I were fully employed as love enablers and simultaneously raising bucks for animal shelters. Amber! Amber, want to lure your secret love? Buy him a lollipop and show him he's a wanted man. Oh, cute, Cher. Now ask yourself, would a lollipop really go over well with the college men that I date? And what college would that be? Clown or barber? <laughs> <laughs> Funny. But you know what's funnier is imagining myself dating one of these Bronson Alcott pimple jockeys. Look, if you're not going to make a purchase, move your bony butt out of the way of our signs. Well, actually, I could use a nosh. Can you change a hundred? What's this? It looks like an orange lollipop. <gasps> you have a secret admirer. Oh, not just an admirer. Orange means someone is lusting after you. <laughs> One of these Alcott weenie boys? Oh, he'll rue the day. Yo, shorty, freeze. You ever see this sucker, sucker? Hey, look at me when I'm talking to you. <laughs> Hold up. Someone on this campus has the hots for Amber? Mm, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Janet, Janet or Bob. Bob. has miraculously landed on the House of Horowitz. Even Josh has a girlfriend. Alas, only my poor daddy is still on the market. Josh, you haven't bought one of my charity lollipops for Suzanne yet. Okay, pick a color, put it on my tab. <sighs> daddy, I feel so bad. I have a Valentine's Day and Josh somehow has one too, but you'll be all alone. Oh, that's what we lawyers call a smuggle assumption. Oh, by the way, Josh, speaking of calling, your mother says you have it lately. You actually had a conversation with her? No lawyers present. Oh, no, there were lawyers present. I bumped into her at Candace Deli. She looked pretty terrific. Again, this was my mother? What, you can't have a nice conversation with your mother? Please. I mean, we are old flames. Uh, anybody want some mineral water? No, thank no. you. Hello, they never had a nice conversation the entire 43 days they were married. She'll move her isolation tank back into my second bathroom. Oh, this will become my official residence. If I live here, where am I going to go to escape? Oh, she'll bring back that hideous sculpture that she insisted be prominently displayed in the living room. Oh, that, that bird thing. That was a bust of my grandmother. Oh, your poor grandfather. Huh? <sighs> 
All right, let's just be rational about this. There's nothing wrong with them just having a nice conversation, right? right. This is more heinous than Melanie Griffith and Don Johnson getting back together. But they got divorced again, so I guess it worked out okay. Cher, why don't you sell me one of those secret Valentine thingies? Oh, no, you don't. Cher, the first rule of fundraising is never say no to a donation. Hmm, let me see. Ah, I like this, this blue one. Uh-oh, blue means I can't live without you. And that's all wrong. Mm -hmm. That's precisely the one I want. What's wrong with the two of you? The possible reconciliation between Daddy and my ex-stepmonster was bringing my Valentine's Day mood down, lower than Courtney loves taste in clothes. But even though my heart was breaking, a girl's got to find a little happiness where she can. Oh, it is so refreshing to see a male who can sustain the honeymoon period for longer than 30 seconds. Hold up, anybody can make out, baby. Okay, we've got something deeper. We've got something significant. Uh, okay, we're like an old married couple. Hey, wait a minute. I am neither old nor married, and this couple thing is a stretch lately. So you had better be planning something very, very special for Valentine's Day. That's this month, right? All this time and you can't tell and I'm kidding. I'm just... Uh, <laughs> oh. Ooh. Whoever this geek is, he's serious. Green means I am envious of anybody who ever loved you. Hey, it could be an entire flotilla of hunks. A virtual armada of... With that perfect touch of sense Who's the reason we don't cut Mr. Paul's class It's Amber, Amber Amber with the flaming hair Of course it's me You were expecting maybe Cher We stay here every night Serving attention If Amber don't give us a little attention You high school boys You're all alike You just want me and want me and want me no way you're getting this face with cosmetic surgery. It's really beautiful teeth. Do you floss? Yo, Larry, there's a height requirement. Get out of line. Hey, if you're the one giving me these lollipops, be prepared to have them surgically removed from your sinus cavity. Or worse. It's sad. Now, uh, don't forget to go over your poetry selections for the uh, big uh, Valentine's Day sound-a-thon. How do I penalize people who don't do the assignment? Let me count the ways. Cher, sure, can I talk to you for a second? Listen, I am feeling such tension because of this upcoming Valentine's celebration. Oh, you so have to make up for that birthday debacle. Can we not mention the hot comb or the sizzler ever again, please? I alluded but did not mention Murray. Piece of advice. In her own way, Dee's a simple girl. Yeah, like RuPaul's a simple boy. Trust me, Dion would love a romantic Valentine's Day dinner. As long as the words all you can eat are not involved and there's not a sneeze guard on the premises. Then dinner it is. And? And roses? And? And, uh, baby bunny. I take it back. That's Easter. Come on, Murray. I got it. I got it. What is jewelry, Alex? <gasps> ding, 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 ding. You are literally a Polaroid of boyfriend perfection. By the way, have any women bought any lollipops for Sean? I wouldn't know. It's a pretty confidential deal. But I don't think so. Man, brother has no luck with the ladies. No, he hasn't had a date since, well, I guess since D. Since who? Yeah, it's got to be since D. You mean, like my girlfriend? 
D. Oh, well, I thought it was common knowledge. Common knowledge? Well, apparently to every commoner except me. Well, it wasn't a date so much as, was, you know, a thing. They were just... A, they were... a thing? So you're saying that Sean and Dion are old flames? No, no, Murray. Old flames is much too dating a term for what they were. They were more they like... Were... They were more like... I gotta run. <laughs> Wait a second. I have to find Dion before Murray does. A, to warn her that I blurted. B, to apologize mega profusely. And C... To ask her if I could get away with wearing this dress with my nubby v-neck. Hmm, call me crazy, it kind of works. Oh, but I digress. Where was I? Oh, right, D. Murray. Gotta get to her first. Love bug? A triple word score. Tell me, love bug is a proper name. Oh. And I'll uh, let it go this time. He's so good to me. If you're the source of these, I want to thank you and give you a list of my known allergies and this Valentine shopping tip. Never buy me a gift from any store that has the word barn in its name. I go to school. Yo vado a scuola. Yo vio a scuola. Ooh, I can impress the ladies with this. Yo vio a scuola. Ciao, baby. <laughs> oh, I'll bear your beanie. So, I understand that you two went out. Says who? See, it was a total accident that I said something, and I tried to explain to him that it was nothing. You told him? Well, I thought everybody knew. So why don't you tell me, Dee? Well, why didn't you tell him? Great. So my best friend dated my girlfriend. All that has come before suddenly means nothing. Why is it so hard for you to keep your mouth shut? Yo, Mur, wait up! I am so sorry, but I know what we can do. No, don't even try it, Cher. You have caused irreparable damage to my Valentine's Day. You are such a klutz when it comes to relationships. Majorly. And the cheese stands alone. For years, I'd spent Valentine's Day with my best friends and without a boyfriend. Now suddenly, I'm spending Valentine's Day with a boyfriend and without my best friends. It's ironic. It's symmetrical. But mostly, it just sucks. Il fromaggio sta solo. The cheese stands alone. My unintentional blurt burst that beautiful Valentine's bubble. I wreaked havoc on primary relationships as far as the eye could see. Murray. Murray. How could you do this to me? Murray, I didn't even know you then. It was one stupid date. Nothing happened. Mm -mm. Okay, I'm listening. Okay. I want major details. All right, check it. We had a nice dinner, but romantically, zero chemistry. Still, I did the gentlemanly thing and walked into her door to say goodnight. So I guess I'll see you in school. Don't you want to come in? I was about to call it a night. When the girl came at me, man, she was all up on me like I had to win a lottery ticket. What? The reason I didn't tell you, my brother, is because I hardly remember it. Hardly remember it? No, you don't remember it at all. Murray, that is so not how it happened. So you're saying you did not come on to him? Please, please. True, we had dinner, it came with a toy. And true, there was no chemistry, no trigonometry, and definitely no biology. And try as I might to end the nightmarish evening, he insisted on walking me to my door. So I guess I'll see you in school. So you don't want to come in. I finally thought I was rid of him when... Whoa, whoa, whoa. God, Murray, the reason I didn't tell you is because the memory, frankly, revolted me. No offense. I myself had considered it forgotten. As it should be. Let's go get a slice after school. I want a salad. Time out, time out. Obviously, both of these stories cannot be true. Now, either my beautiful girlfriend is lying, mm -hmm. or my best friend is lying. Whoever it is, I'm in way too much pain to just go hang out. So, if you'll excuse me, 
Hold up, man. Murray, come on, man. Where are you going? What's wrong? Can we talk about this? I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. There's three periods left. Wow, oh, how embarrassing. The rift continues, as does my angst in it being the source of so much unhappiness. Chapter 5, The Cold War. If I could not fix the dilemma I had created for my friends, perhaps I could learn from their pain and preempt a scene where my past could threaten my future with Noah. Noah, here is a list of all the boys I've ever kissed, crushed over, or played spin the bottle with. Because I think it's important we get this into the open. Cher. Sure. I really don't care what happened for me, okay? My romantic life began the day I met you. Oh. I can't believe how perfect you are. Hey. Dio flip when she hears the depths of Noah's awesomosity. But, duh, she's not speaking to me. Pick up the phone. It was an accident. Dee, nothing matters if you're mad at me. Hello? I'm home right now, but I'm not picking up Cher. If you'd like my fax machine to not accept your call either, press 1. Cher. Oh, Cher, great news. Highly unlikely. I just got off the phone with my mom. She and Mel are just friends, and barely that. But wait, then who is Daddy giving that lollipop to? Apparently, he's got some hot babe we know nothing about. <laughs> Ida, happy Valentine's Day. Oh, isn't that sweet? After all these years, I still can't live without you. Uh, Ida, don't you think maybe, uh, the phone? What? The phone. You're closer to it. Mel Horowitz and Associates, how can I direct your call? It's for you. Huh? Get away from my car! Get away from Sean, get away from my car! What are you doing? What are you doing? Apologizing and simonizing. Sean, you are beyond apologies, okay? You betrayed me, and I don't know if I have faith in you. Murray, I'm sorry if you perceived my date with Dia's betrayal, but I didn't even know you then. You should have known you were gonna know me. Yo. Why shouldn't I want to date the lovely Dion? She's a beautiful woman. Word? But given her high maintenance, I mean, your compatibility, you two are more perfect for each other. Let's cut to the chase, Sean. Did you try to kiss her? I may have. Definitely. <laughs> Look, man, if you don't drive my car off, it's going to get spots. Sorry. Uh, one more thing to avoid a similar future conflict. Should you indeed cease and desist and you become a free agent? Here's a list of the women in my past, so this can't happen again. Two names. You lead a sorry, sorry life, my friend. Tell me. <laughs> Murray and Sean's reconciliation puts a wrench in the theory that girls mature way faster than boys. I love you, man! <laughs> because D is still so not over it. I feel like Belinda Carlisle without the Go-Go's, Siegfried without Roy, Salt without... and Peppa. Secret Valentines are okay, but make sure you remember the people who matter most, like your best friends. Now stop your whining and listen to me. It was totally stupid of me to blame you for my bed. My biggest mistake was not telling Murray about Sean. No, it was heinously inappropriate for me to have said anything. No, your misspeak only highlighted Murray's jerkdom, okay? It's such a guy thing. I am not his property, especially not before he even owned. It will never happen again. My thoughts exactly. There's a list of all the things that you know about me and Murray does not. <gasps> Brian Breckenridge. Oops. I didn't even tell you about Brian. <laughs> well, it's safe with me. Murray is such the better find anyway. I don't know why I love the big lug so much. He's lucky to be a part of my world. 
We all are, Dee. Happy Valentine's Day to my major big. Boyfriends will come and go, but you and me are forever. That is for sure. <laughs> all of our Valentine dilemmas were solved. Except one. Dion and I never did figure out who was sending Amber those secret admirer lollipops. Amber? I know Valentine's Day is still one day away, but I can't hold this any longer. I sent you every single lollipop. Oh, Amber, I, I love you. There, I said it. Would it be wrong for me to kiss you now? You disgust me, but you know who disgusts me even more? Cher and D, those two connivers that put you up to this. She is so hot. Amber, Amber. So, I guess I'll see you in school. You don't want to come in? Nice, but not for me. Not bad, but I'll pass. What bugs me is, if Sean and Dion had just told me it went down that way, we wouldn't have gone through all that angst. But I did get my car waxed in the deal, so never mind.